You mentioned the Kurdish areas, so I should say that obviously Syria's Kurds are around 2 million, about 10% of the population. And your party, the PYD, established in 2003, the Democratic Union Party, can, uh, pretty much controls three unconnected areas in northern Syria. And in November last year, you declared it uh, the administration, the transitional administration of Rojava, which is yes, Western uh, Kurdistan yes. and so on. So you have these three un uh, unconnected areas, about 50 kilometres between them. And um, uh, what do you want to do with them? Do you want independence for them? Uh, actually not. Uh, first of all, we are not PYD doing all this. It's the, I mean the components of the area, because uh, we have... Uh, Syriacs, we have Arabs sharing us in this administration. Mm. So maybe the idea is from PYD, that's right. Because it's predominantly Kurdish population in these that's areas. That's right, that's right. The majority are Kurds, mm. okay. Uh, and they established a council which is representing all the people. And they decided to establish these cantons. It's not me. So, uh, but you're, that, you're the co PYD leader and you're going along with that's this. That's right. And you've got courts and police Maybe, forces yes, and, and so on in, right. in this area. So mm. the question is, what do you see as your vision for it? What do you want? Independence? No. Greater autonomy? No, not at all, no. We said from the, the beginning, I mean, we are a democratic force. We have to stay in democratically. We are trying to establish a democratic Syria, democratic plural Syria for future. And what we are doing is a part of this solution at the end and not keeping Syria, I mean all the people together. Mm. And our efforts recently were just for the, I mean, uh, to collect all the opposition in one uh, side, one delegation to be um, against uh, the regime or at least to have sit with the regime, I mean, as uh, they have done in Geneva too. Oh, you're talking about the uh, sort of the, the, the paralyzed peace process at the moment, Geneva too, which is uh, government spokespeople and a delegate delegates meeting with the kind of umbrella opposition group but just sticking with your Kurdish um, areas you run the people's protection units you even have your own force and I've got to put this to you that an international crisis group report on the Middle East in May said the fact that you have these forces is one of the reasons why you have managed to maintain control of these predominantly Kurdish areas. But they say the most important factor, however, is your de facto alliance with the regime, which handed territories over to you while continuing to give support to those territories. You've heard this criticism before that, in effect, yeah. the Assad regime has turned a blind eye and allowed you to uh, run these territories. No, I think it's, it's, it's a mistake, I mean, to say that because uh, the, at the beginning we fought, I mean, we are fighting, uh, struggling against this regime since 2004, uh, Kamshlu uprising, uh, everybody knows, and since then we are struggling against the, re the regime, this is first, and secondly, when we liberated our areas, uh, we fought against the regime, I mean, we have casualties, we have uh, uh, many people martyred, until now, just a few days ago, maybe there was uh, some clashes in Gerzero, against the regime also.